Oh, there, we have another shipping video. How's that? Okay, well, this thing here. I'm um, not sure where that came from. Anyway, uh, I have a box for that here somewhere. Uh, maybe it won't work. Yeah, it probably won't work. I have to use a different one. That might be too big. Well, today I woke up, woke up this morning and oh, I don't know, eight o'clock I think it was, which is a good time for me. I went to bed just after midnight and uh, listened to some nice soothing music on the YouTubes while I slept. And then I got up at eight o'clock, I weighed myself. I came downstairs and it was a little higher than I was than I was hoping for. I'm still down down a couple of couple ounces, but it's still higher than I was hoping. So I waited, and then and then I I uh, I started some laundry and and I. I rode my stationary bike for five minutes because that's all I can handle because I'm such a wuss. Uh, and, uh, and then I weighed myself again and I was down, I was down a pound for the, for the night. So I was, I was down to 129 or two, 229, 229.4, 229.4. So that was cool. So I was, so I kept that. That's the one. That's the one I'm going to count for my weight for today. The 229.4. Now I might have to pay for that tomorrow. Uh, have it end up being up, but that's okay because I'm downtrending. I have a little app called the called the uh, Smart Scale that a friend of mine recommended. A Happy Scale, Happy Scale. That's what it is. And uh, it's got little charts on there. It almost looks like the stock market kind of a thing. It's kind of neat. I've been using that and you know it's neat because it shows you you know your all, all the all your way in things and it shows you uh, it shows you like what's the lowest you've been and it has a little chart for like uh, you know downhill or possibly uphill but you know it, you know it's uh, yeah it's really been helpful so I like that and then see we got a, we got a piece of Ow, oh, right on my foot. Um, iris and herringbone. Iris and herringbone from Jeanette Glass. So, that, I was hoping, I thought I had more of those around here when I picked this up. I couldn't find them though, so. And, now it's all better though. Let's see, I'm going to put that. Uh, should I, I don't know, what do you think, should I? Should I double over this? Let's see what happens. Double it over. Nah, I have to do that. Nope, that's not gonna work. All right, so I'll just do this. It'll be all right. So yeah, so. Oh, what else has been, what else happened? Yeah, so I, I got a new load today on my weight, so that's good. Um, that's always cool. I like to celebrate every little. I like to celebrate everything every day. I like to celebrate all those little markers that I did. So every little thing, you know, I got a, you know, last I ate last night was yesterday was around uh, between five and six o'clock. So uh, when I woke up today at eight o'clock, I was I hadn't eaten anything, so I was already up. I was already up to you know at least you know fourteen hours of of fast. So so then. Let's see, I have to stick that in there. Well, I thought that would fit like that. It would if this wasn't quite so long. Well, that's just not right. Yeah, so then, you know, I'm never, I'm never hungry in the morning when I first get up. It's food when I first get up in the morning is like, like the, usually the last thing from my mind, unless Unless my wife or daughter has made something incredibly yummy smelling, in which case, um, 
my addiction to feed to food, you know, really kicks in more than my hunger needs. But I haven't had to worry about that for a while. So, uh, so yeah. So okay, there's that. All right, because the wife is trying to keep up with me on the keto, on the keto, and my daughter, she's into it some. Uh, not so much, I don't think, is, is what I am, but she's got her own ways. She's got her own things, and she's a lot younger than me, too, so, obviously, so, you know, that's a, that's a whole nother thing, but, uh, yeah, I like to celebrate all those little victories, so, anyway, I didn't, I didn't end up eating until I started making a big, giant, massive omelet with shredded zucchini and a little bit of broccoli that was left over from last night, and... Oh, what else did I have? Oh, I did use, there was some leftover, leftover sweet potato, cube sweet potatoes, which they're lower, a little lower in carbs than what potatoes are, but not, uh, not a lot lower. But I have this thing with wasting food. It really bothers me. So mentally finishing that was a positive for me. So what I put in here? Oh yeah, uh, I'm going to put iris. Iris. Yeah, that was a positive for me to do that. So even though I might pay for it tomorrow with a little a little higher weight, I have that positive thing going on that that I'm I'm better off to have that than than to not. So okay, now I don't think these are gonna fit in here, but I'm gonna see. So so yeah, so I ended up ended up with like an 18 hour an 18 hour fast which is really what i'm shooting for is 18 hours but i am i am kind of focusing on now i guess i wasn't really thinking about it before but i'm thinking about it a lot more now about what i'm what i'm actually doing and it seems like i'm doing what they call they call it omad one meal a day i think that's kind of what it is is one meal a day yeah see these won't fit in there so i can't use that for those uh, I can use it for these though. A little, a little McDonald's Thai Beanie Babies. So yeah, one meal. It seems to be. It just seems to be where I'm falling because I'm not really hungry that much. Although I do understand that I'm probably not getting as much protein as I should be getting. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do that. I might have to buy a uh, a protein collagen supplement or something like that because I'm probably not getting enough protein and so that that could cause um, when autophagy or whatever however it is when your body starts to starts to eat your when after you after you don't eat for a while your body will start to eat your cells to it'll start you know breaking down weak cells or 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 you know mutated cells or cells that aren't they're just old it'll start breaking them down and creating new ones but without protein to build um it might be a little harder i'm gonna put ty on here it might be it, it, you won't get so much of that so you'll you could have some i don't know the words i don't know the right words for what all, all this stuff is but you could lose some muscle mass I have to keep that in mind and try to find a way to, I need a box, all my kingdom, I think those are going to be priority, so I could probably use, I could probably do that, those are going to be priority, I'm pretty sure, so I'm sure this, this should work for these, so anyway, so that, that's another thing I, I celebrated that today was another, another su successful, uh, period of fasting. So I'm going to celebrate that every day. Every day when I every day I'm going to take time in my life to sit down and just be thankful that I'm achieving I'm achieving these little goals, you know, these kind of nice little things like that. All right, so they'll fit in there like that, but I'm not sure that's what I want how I want to do it. So hmm. So yeah. And uh, I'm still, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing keto and I'm happy with it. You know, most of what I'm really trying to do is just, I'm just trying to get the sugar out of my life. And if I can get sugar out of my life, you know, like Kathy mentioned, uh, 
in the other post that I, I would, I like her, I would get sick every four or five hours if I didn't eat something because I mean, like sick is in, I would feel, I would get dizzy, I would feel kind of nauseous, and I would feel like I had like the biggest butterflies in the world in my stomach, and it was almost, it was almost painful. It was a really horrible feeling, and I knew what it was. I knew that, I knew that it was, I knew it was carbs. I knew it was the carbs from stuff, so that I was, I was really, that I was addicted, and that's the thing, addiction, and, and that's, you know, if you've listened, listened to my channel often enough, you know that I have... I have mentioned that I, I I am an addict. I am an alcoholic. I don't. I haven't drank since 1995, but that does not mean that I'm not an alcoholic anymore. I'm still an alcoholic. I'll always be an alcoholic, and I cannot have just one. I cannot have just one. And so the same thing goes for food. I have an addictive personality. I will get addicted to everything. I got addicted to alcohol. I got addicted to religion. I got addicted to, I just get addicted to things that I get involved, I got addicted to reselling, you could say. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's all an addiction. And, and, uh, you know, addicted to buying things, which we, we know where that leads, that, that buying things. It, it typically leads somewhere that we don't really necessarily want to be all the time. This cup is not fitting in there properly. No, it's not. So I have to find a way to. How can I do this? Put these in this. I want to put these in this bag. Will they go in like that? But it, even like that, they'll they'll do that. So yeah. So I, I I know that I understand that I have an addiction addictive personality. So I understand that with food I was also addicted, and, and I would I would I mean, get me a pizza. And I'll tell myself that I'm only going to have a couple slices and I'll eat the whole pizza. That's, you know, not all, not, not right away, but I mean, I, I will eat the whole pizza. It, there isn't going to be any left in the fridge for tomorrow morning. You can count on that. Uh, so, bags of chips, same thing. I just, I'll just gobble them all up, you know. And so... And so I'm pretty sure that, you know, the way this weight loss thing is going, that I will probably develop some form of addiction to it as well. You know, because that's who I am. Hopefully it's a good addiction. And uh, I, I really have a much better understanding now, so I'm hoping that that will translate into uh, the same thing. You know, the same thing is, is if I know myself... Maybe I'll be able to deal with uh, with that aspect of 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 the addiction, so that I don't get too. There we go. Yeah, cool. I got it. All right. I'll, I'll be able to deal with that aspect of the addiction. I hope. Um, who knows? I mean, life life goes in a lot of different directions, so we'll see what happens. And you know, any emotional trauma that might come along or something like that could blow me right off the rails because I'm I'm a very sensitive soul. Okay, this is um this is the cups. All right, next. Now oh, the easy ones. The easy ones are coming up here. We got a little Bob Dylan going on around the house. Out the door he goes. Yeah, I think uh I think that's all I really had to talk about today, really. Um, I hadn't really thought about a lot of it, you know. I'm just really loving life right now, you know? I'm just really loving life right now. So, there we go. That's it. We're, we're done for today. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. I appreciate the, that you listen. I appreciate that you comment and... Um, Hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.